Arise, Wikipedia article audio. Arise is the fourth studio album by Brazilian heavy metal band Sepultura, released in 1991 by Roadrunner Records. Upon its release, the album received top reviews from heavy metal magazines such as Rock Hard, Kerrang, and Metal Forces. Arise is considered Sepultura's finest hour among longtime fans. While the music on Arise was mostly in the same death thrash style as their previous album, Beneath the Remains, it was clear that the Sepultura sound was acquiring an experimental edge. The album presented their first incursions with industrial music, hard car punk and Latin percussion. The tour that supported the album was the group's longest at that time, totaling 220 shows in 39 different countries. During this track, the album went gold in Indonesia, the band's first music industry certification. By the tour's end, Arise had achieved platinum sales worldwide. In August 1990, the band traveled to Florida to work on the album. Scott Burns reprised his role as producer and audio engineer, and now with a major advantage, Sepultura were at his home studio, Mora Sound, a studio properly equipped to record their music style. Their label Roadrunner granted a $40,000 budget, which helped explain the album's improved production values. That allowed Igor and Burns, for example, to spend a whole week just testing the drum kit's tunings and experimenting with microphone practice. A re-recording of Troops of Doom took place in the first days but ended up released in the reissue of Schizophrenia. Although lead guitarist Andreas Kisser stated that Arise took a lot of the same direction as their previous LP, Beneath the Remains, it was clear that their music had somehow changed. Sepultura's usual breakneck pace became toned down a bit, drummer Igor Kavala started using groove-laden rhythms. According to metal specialist Don Quay, the album represented the band taking their initial death thrash sound to its logical conclusion. Arise also found the band opening up to non-metal influences. Bands such as Einsters and Newbottom, Nine Inch Nails, The Young Gods, and Ministry were already part of Sepultura's listening habits, and slight touches of industrial music can be traced through the use of samples and sound effects. A trademark of a later phase, Latin percussion and tribal drumming, made its first appearance on the song Altered State. The band's old love for hardcore punk is evident on Subtraction and Desperate Cry. Just one day after finishing the recording of Arise, the band embarked on a small headlining tour with Extreme Metalers Obituary and Satus. That was the start of the longest promotional tour of Sepultura's career, a worldwide affair that would span two full years. In January 1991 they were invited to play for it the Brazilian music festival Rock in Rio 2 where their performance was watched by a 70,000 strong crowd. Before heading out of Brazil on a mid-1991 European tour, Sepultura performed one more concert in São Paulo, the country's largest city. It took place at Praça Charles Miller, on May 11th. Local military police expected 10,000 to attend 30,000 showed up instead, making crowd management nearly impossible. Six people were hurt, 18 were arrested and one was murdered with an axe. A week before, a young man was stabbed to death at a Ramones concert in São Paulo during a brawl between headbangers and skinheads. These events were followed by a huge mainstream media backlash throughout the country against rock music. Sepultura's three-month tour with thrash metal groups Sacred Reich and Heathen was a critical success. For the first time they appeared on the cover of best-selling British heavy metal magazine Kerrang! and major pop weeklies such as Melody Maker and NME published long feature articles on the group. While in Spain Sepultura recorded their Under Siege video, which included their Barcelona concert and interview footage with all four members of the band. After Europe, they embarked on the North American tour New Titans on the Block with grindcore pioneers Napalm Death, New York City hardcore punk group Sick of It All and Sacred Reich. Max Cavallara has recalled that, before signing on to the New Titans on the Block tour, Sepultura was supposed to be the opening act for the Clash of the Titans tour featuring Megadeth, Slayer and Anthrax but they got kicked out and were replaced by Alice in Chains. Sepultura wrapped up the year doing a brief German tour with heavy metal legends Mutterhead and Florida death metal group Morbid Angel in December. Sepultura then managed to secure a slot in two of the most sought-after rock tours of 1992. One was done with ex-Black Sabbath singer Ozzy Osbourne, 
who was promoting his multi-platinum solo album No More Tears while the second tour was with industrial metal Star Wars Ministry and influential alternative metal noise rock unit Helmet. Both of these American acts had just released the most successful records of their careers, Psalm 69 and Meantime. A remastered version of The Rise was released by Roadrunner in 1997, with added notes by music critic Don K and four bonus tracks, previously released on the compilation The Roots of Sepultura, a cover version of Monarchod S. Orgasmotron, a rough mix of Desperate Cry and two previously unreleased songs. A previously unavailable photo shoot from the Arise period was also included in the expanded CD booklet. Arise garnered praise from a wide variety of sources. By the time of its release, major Brazilian newspapers were already aware of the band's existence, and advance copies sent to them were generally met with positive reviews. Arter G. Cudo Duarte, writing for O Estado de Minas, described Sepultura's soundscapes as stories describing barren worlds where disease, hunger, torture and death reign supreme. Folha de S. Paulo S. Sergio S. A. Acute Liteo pointed out Sepultura's increasing compositional skills drawing attention to how the band's occasional use of restraint benefited their songs as a whole. The international pop press also took notice of Brazil's premier metal group. Top British weeklies such as The Melody Maker and NME wrote lengthy articles on the band, praising them. A Melody Maker journalist wrote, Sepultura is a Brazilian metal band which seems to be in the verge of getting big, maybe even bigger than Slayer, their only true rival. Genre-specific magazines also reacted positively to the group. Germany's thrash elected Sepultura of the best band in the world, defeating major contenders Metallica and Slayer. Sepultura were also prominently featured on the biggest metal publications of the time, such as Kerrang, Rock Hard and Metal Forces. Select gave the album a 5 out of 5 rating, referring to it as a classic example of rock music as pure cathartic release in that few metal LPs released this year, if any will triumph over Arise. Arise was the first Sepultura record to enter the Billboard charts, at number 119. It was also the first to gain a music certification, Arise went gold in 1992 for selling 25,000 copies in Indonesia. By 1993, the album had sold 1 million units around the globe. In 2001, it won a second certification, Silver in the United Kingdom for selling in excess of 60,000 copies. Throughout the years, Arise has been continuously praised by the music press, not only as a landmark release of Sepultura's career, but of extreme metal in general. In November 1996, Q magazine stated that Arise remains their thrashed high-water mark, sounding like an angry man throwing tools at a urinal while reading the Book of Revelations. All music contributor Eduardo Rovadavia considered Arise as a classic of the death metal genre. The album also appeared in the book 1001 Albums You Must Hear Before You Die, edited by writer Robert Emery. In January 2016, 25 years since the album's release, Arise was inducted into the Decibel Magazine Hall of Fame, becoming the third Sepultura album to receive such award, the previous two being Roots and Beneath the Remains. This induction would make Sepultura the first band to have at least three of their albums featured in the Decibel Hall of Fame. All music is composed by Sepultura, except where noted. Sepultura Production Bibliography